Quest has a new update. It's V56. It talks about the hand tracking improvements, system level live captions, and Facebook live streaming and more. So let's go ahead and just break it down. They have a brand new hand tracking 2.2 focuses on hand responsiveness and just helping out 40% latency reduction in typical usage and up to 75% during fast movement. So improvement in hand tracking really does help. I'm not too sure what they're trying to do moving forward, especially with hand tracking. I think we need way more hand tracking apps, but it is good that they're going in depth with that. Somebody like Apple Vision Pro is probably going to be taking notes on how to actually do things in terms of hand tracking and just being able to really get onto that controller list type situation, especially when it comes down to XR and the overall attributions to virtual reality, mixed reality and augmented reality. Brand new hand tracking from Quest. Uh, y'all got to let me know. Are y'all using actual hand tracking right now? Y'all just straight up love the controllers. Let me know what's up with that. But that is one of them. Uh, they're calling it all hands on deck. There's new ways to stay connected and they're staying connected with your friends with chats and parties. So you're able to call a chat thread is automatically created with everything. The members invited to the call. You can also call from a one by one or a group chat. So just basically a personal and all members of that thread are invited to your call. So you're just kind of vibing out in VR. So it looks just like messenger. I think that's what I would say. A lot of this stuff, they're really heavy on this social attribution, which is also cool. It looks like a lot of the different components they are adding multitudes of times that have been more in the social outlook and i like that i think i i mean it doesn't mean anybody's gonna go straight to horizon worlds but i mean it's something there's accessibility updates live captions for those that are just hard of hearing and that's very great i mean i've had family in, in my circle that had hard of hearing so it's always good to just have captions for everything to just help out what's going on man and they really emphasize on that on how they're trying to improve the experience for everyone the more inclusive they are i think the more they can really take this to a higher level they also have button remapping you can customize your key so all your keys is always good your key bindings is helping out so they do have a personalizer controller con configuration and then for those with just different challenges and everything so again being inclusive really does help so the more you can customize personalize and just do everything in your experience helps a lot with vr because vr the way it is right now it's so hard there's so much friction there's so much complexity if you can really have it to work and help out people of all different backgrounds you can just help out all people and let it customize the more we can customize and personalize it to be our own to be a unique experience that's the best way we can really come across vr there's also a local dimming on quest pro so there is a dip quest pro now i'm not gonna lie i could care less about it so i'm not gonna talk about the quest pro what i do want to talk about are two of the best features they are doing the automatic app power updates that is my favorite because when you're just powering your quest everything starts to update that needs to be updated apps everything just whatever's on your library all updates if you as long as you're just charging your quest so now you get to charge your quest and have everything updated at the same time me i am one of those people that i would charge my quest i'll be ready to stream or i'll be ready to just get in there and just share the next update in terms of vr if you haven't already check out our tiktok because it is popping i'm always sharing updates on there and people are always asking me questions about quests over there but when i do that i hate when i put on my quest and some of my games need to be updated and everything so it's always good to have an automatic update that's one of my favorite ones and last but not least which is i don't know if you call it an update it's more of like the big return right the big voila a live streaming comes back to facebook they did just have it live on facebook so now they're actually deeming it a live stream so it says quest offers you just everything and being able to stream and share with what's going on and you can't share like the webcam you can't do all of that it's more of like the console experience of what xbox does to twitch quest obviously to facebook only they don't want to be helping out amazon with twitch so i'm sure they might just keep it facebook exclusive but it'll be better if they can at least give us a twitch option that would be cool but I, I i highly doubt it but one can wish right my favorite one they should have just kept this the whole time i don't see why they were doing that on facebook has a older audience so i don't see why they ever took this away you could have put so much eyes facebook still has tons of people that are on there and a lot more of an older crowd that don't understand next level tech and so like having this would have been able to really help mainstream vr to help parents understand to help older people understand who don't or not are really new to this type of technology so i don't see why that like live streaming i don't know why they took it away i i don't but hopefully this helps out in bringing it back and putting it into people's hands again and just spreading awareness this should have stayed for just automatic awareness oh that is it that is the main updates i think my favorite of course are the hand tracking the app the automatic power app updates and then also the uh live streaming of facebook does return looks a little bit better more of a thorough live stream ui interface so that's always good too uh, y'all gotta let me know what's up are y'all rocking out with this are you excited I'm not too sure how huge of a game changer this is, but it does help out in just the experience. I hope they just continue.
continuously personalize and help us spread awareness because VR had get very stagnant in the last few days. And so hopefully this helps out and take it to the next level. I appreciate y'all. Leave a comment, man. Peace.